I'm gonna be showing you how to do a gorgeous, like cotton candy, beautiful pink that we have on Katie right here. It is so soft and perfect for summertime, especially if you don't want something super, super crazy, punky, committed. We've decided that this hair is like, like perfect boho color. So if you guys wanna see, come on inside with us and see us do Katie's hair. So today I'm using Pulp Riot because Pulp Riot is the paint and I'm using Cupid and Lilac with a few drops of Lilac because Katie's hair is a little bit warmer of a blonde so that's just going to help to balance out that um, yellow undertone in her hair. Then I add conditioner to mix for the perfect pastel pink adding in 1 16th of Olaplex because as, as many times as I can add Olaplex into someone's hair, I'm going to because it's just gonna make their hair better and better. So let's start the process. I'm starting down in Katie's nape area. Again, I'm gonna be doing more of like a whispering pink versus a screaming pink. So starting in the nape area, I'm gonna take out some nice weaved chunks. The reason why I'm doing chunks is because if I do finer pieces, it's just going to disappear throughout Katie's hair. So I'm gonna pull the remaining hair off to the side and clip that out of the way. If you clip using your clip going up, then you can take additional sections to bring it over onto the top of that clip so it keeps everything out of the way. So I'm adding this into the ends of Katie's hair, mostly saturating from like high mid through the ends, making sure that everything is completely saturated through the whole strand. And then for the top part of the strand, I'm gonna take my Fermar brush and I'm going to kind of feather that up. What this is going to do is there's gonna be no harsh line and it just makes it a really seamless blend. Then I'm gonna grab my Zero Cling, um, this amazing plastic wrap from Fermar. It's insane, it doesn't cling on itself, it's awesome. And then I'm just gonna place that right underneath it and then move on to my next section. So in this bottom one, I did two chunks. And then throughout the rest of the hair, I did um, three chunks, four chunks, two chunks, just depending on where I want to see the most hair. And then again, I'm moving on to my next section where I'm doing three chunks in this one. See how this clip just lets me put that remaining hair up? It's awesome. And I'm just kind of grabbing all three of these strands together and then blending it up a little bit with my fingers and then going back in and blending it up with the brush. Now in this top section of the hair, I'm going to leave a veil. So I'm going to take out a very small kind of where you could read underneath this. Like if you could read a newspaper underneath this, that's how thin you want it to kind of have a veil over the top of it. So I'm going to take out another three chunks, add my pastel pink in, and then lay that down. The reason why I do that veil is because it's going to kind of softly lay over the top and allow the pink to kind of pinkaboo up through the rest of the hair. I'm going to do the same thing on the top. Katie parts in the middle, so I'm leaving a veil for both sides of her hair on the front, and then we're going to go in and color the rest of this underlaying part. So I'm taking diagonal back sections, which are pretty much my favorite sectioning for 99.9% .9 of the hair that I do and I'm going to take out chunks and I'm also going to add my little clippy here because it just makes this process so much easier and faster. I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher towards her face area because we want to see a little bit of that pop of pink in her face just depending on what your client wants. And I'm using my good old plastic wrap so I do not cover her face all pink because your clients don't want to go home with pink, you know, facial hair. That's, um, I mean, hey, maybe they do. You never know. Um, I'm just going to continue going up until I get to the last strand around her face. And what I did after doing all of Katie's hair is I was noticing I kind of want a little bit more dimension. So I added a little bit more of that Cupid. I'm going back in and grabbing very few pieces. I think I grabbed like maybe four or five pieces in the back and just added it to the very bottom of her hair to have a few more pieces that are brighter pink. You guys can see here the different colors. So I have some that are more pastel and then some that are a little bit brighter just for added dimension. And and when you guys rinse this out, rinse in cool water and check out this. Do you see the water? It is crystal clear and all of her beautiful pink is staying in her hair. Then I'm going to start finish styling her. So using my amazing wet brush. By the way, this wet brush you can use for styling the hair with blow drying. How cool is that? I'm going to grab my favorite Evo products to give her a smooth but voluminous finish to her hair. I love Easy Tiger because it's very lightweight for people who have finer hair but still want some smooth. And then I add a little bit of Love Perpetua shine drops because it's going to give the hair the most gorgeous, shimmery, beautiful shine. And a little bit of root lift. This is um, root canal and 
I love all of these products. It's one of my favorite combos. So I'm just going to add some volume into her blow dry and then go back to finish style her hair with a few of my favorite products. I'm using Miss Malleable. This is a meet like a flexible hold hair spray just to add some definition to her curls and hold. Oh my gosh, guys, if you guys have not tried the T3 curling iron, it is bomb.com. My favorite thing ever. The only thing I use to curl hair now, and I'm using the one inch attachment. Going and finishing the whole look with a little bit of shine spray. This is my favorite cherry on top. It gives the most beautiful shine to the hair and combing it out and you guys can see how excited we are over her hair. It is just so phenomenally beautiful. Great added color for someone who wants to play and have fun but not have to have the crazy all over commitment of you know the punky colors this is a great way to introduce your client to a little bit of fun for summertime so thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye